this is Nick Millington, leader of the Safety Task Force, checking in today from somewhere a little bit more remote than normal. I'm just around the corner from Ribblehead Viaduct on the Settling Carlisle line. In front of me here, I've got Bleemore Signal Box, and I'm pretty sure over the hill here to my right is uh, Emmerdale Farm. And on my way here today, someone didn't half look like James Harriet. So, but anyway, I'll, um, I'll crack on with today's blog. I want to say thank you to as many people as I possibly can uh, for the work that you continue to do to support track worker and signaller safety. Um, I've got a long list here that I've made, um, so bear with me while I read from this list. If I start in West Coast route then, Scott Morrison, Matt Gibbons, Dan Booth, um, your work on the Rail Hub rollout and West Coast route, really appreciated, so thank you. Um, again, with the Rail Hub rollout on West Coast route, Katrina Whitchurch, Stuart Cook, Neil Jalland, Jane Baker, Dawn Parcell, Day, um, Bianca McCarthy, Anna Bruce, Trevor Hopkins, Michaela Farrington, and Sandy Bishop. Again, your work making the Rail Hub rollout um, successful, um, really appreciated. Rail Hub, as you know, all of you that are listening to this, I'm sure you've saw my previous blog, is our safer and simpler planning system. Let's move around to Northwest Route next. So Rick Clark, Melody Burton, Rachel Phillips, Nicola Eugen, Aaron Bell, uh, Siobhan McGurk, uh, Claire Percival, Helen Jones, uh, sorry, Helen Johnson and Gav Jones. Again, your work making the, um, the, the, the go live of Rail Hub on Northwest Route, which is where I am today, um, really appreciated. So thanks ever so much. A special thank you to um, Steve Spencer in Northeast Route. Now, Steve works for the, the, the Safety Task Force team in Northeast Route, and he has put in um, incredible effort uh, to get warning systems out there to get additional protection out there to get work instructions out there better plans out there so steve thanks again for everything you're doing uh, keep it up um, on sussex route then um, i'd like to thank patrick edwards james finnegan um ollie matt um sorry matt talman um colin moss ben white james ives anthony kellner um recently 100% of your work orders that you've worked in in line blockages have been closed with additional protection that is phenomenal so well done Again, on Sussex Route, Lara Fish-Lee, Chris New, Chris, um, Chris Levitt, Lawrence Stewart, Dave Newnham. Again, your work planning line blockages with additional protection, uh, reflecting that in special signal box notices, really appreciated. Thanks ever so much. Planning does make perfect. Um, again, on Sussex Route, Steve Kane, Darren Bull, uh, Barry Wilson, Ian Belgrave, Phil Connor and Alf Gandhi. Um, your work installing remote control T codes that protect the line blocks, really, really appreciated. So thank you there on Sussex Route. Let's pop round to Kent next then. So Ray Walker, Davina Halls, Darren Doggett, Ellie Bannon, um, all your work that you've done across ops and maintenance, um, planning and protecting line blockages progressively, um, really appreciated, keep going, but um, everything you've done, I really appreciate, so thank you. Um, in the wider Southern region then, Catherine McCloyd Smith, Lee Collins, Sarah Jason, and um, the work you've um, been doing to prepare for Rail Hub, which comes your way in the next couple of months. Thank you ever so much. Keep going though. Um, Daniela, um, Danielle uh, Kinsella, um, the work that you've done setting up um, health and wellbeing drop ins across the, the region. Um, health as well as well-being is, is, you know, is as important as safety, as we all know. So the work that you've been doing to proactively provide those drop-ins, uh, really appreciated. Uh, also on Southern Region, a big thank you to Colin Kavanagh, who's the, um, the lead track engineer on Southern Region. And the work that you continually do to challenge um, yourself, your team and others to maintain and inspect S&C and the track assets across the Southern Region in a different way um, is really appreciated. It is groundbreaking. So thank you to Colin. Let's, um, let's pop up to Scotland next. Um, Caroline Goldie, James White, Joe Coldwell. Um, the work that you've done in the Carstairs area, installing remote control T-Cods, which protect line blockages, planning line blockages, then using and protecting the line blockages. Thanks ever so much. Um, also, Eric Heatherston, David McNair, Kieran Sharkey, David Kirkwood, Sandra McNeil. Um, all the work that you've been doing to make the short educational films about protection, planning, and all those sorts of um, useful things so that everyone understands what it is that we're simply trying to achieve to keep track workers safe and signalers safe as well. Um, it, I, I really appreciate um, the, you know, the work that you've done to support um, the, uh, the films in Scotland, so thank you. From Network Rail Training then, Nick Jarman, Catherine Middlemas and Phil Davidson. Um, you'll see my check-in from Warrington the other day about the new person in charge, what we're doing to, to, to enhance site safety leadership. Um, network rail training, the work that you've done to help us prove or disprove the concepts, really appreciated. Also from, from my team helping with that work as well, um, we've got Claire Buckley, Catherine Connolly, Julie Hathaway and a few others. So thank you ever so much for all the work you're doing to enhance site safety leadership. 
Um, I'd like to say a special thank you to the Rail Hub team led by Dylan. Um, that are uh, you know they're, they're right in the thick of this Rail Hub rollout. Twenty thousand users right across the country. Toby Keats, Claire Buckley, Helen Sims, Alex Organvos, um, Mudassa Arif, Mark Fitzpatrick, and Chris Adair from the um, Trade Unions Health and Safety Rep side of things as well. Everything that you're doing with um, EY on track and Mawson's to to um, to, to make Rail Hub a reality is really appreciated. Um, so thank you ever so much. Let's pop down to Anglia then. So Zohar Raja, um, the work that you're doing, again, preparing for Rail Hub, uh, which is coming your way shortly. Thanks ever so much. And a special one from Anglia. I got a phone call this morning. Um, in one of the delivery units in Anglia today, they've taken down 335 lookout competences out of Sentinel. So that's 335 lookout competences gone forever from Sentinel. Well done to Anglia for doing that. And I guess a final one for me then, I'd like to say a special thank you to all the trade union um, industrial reps and safety reps that support the, the joint council meeting that I chair and have done for the last 18 months. Your ongoing support, challenge, um, solutions, um, and, and, and I, you know, I really, really appreciate everything that you're doing. Um, you, we have made really um, tangible safety progress. And I understand that the, um, the industrial relations landscape is challenging at the moment, but your relentless focus on keeping your signalers and your track workers safe, um, I'm really grateful uh, to you for that, so thank you. And finally, internally within Network Rail, we've got a Yammer social media system, and I'm on there quite a lot. Um, I really appreciate all the people. Um, I quite often pose questions, problems. I really appreciate the healthy challenging debates that we have on Yammer um, I really appreciate it it balances my thinking it makes me think differently um, it's really important that um, other people share their views so everyone on Yammer um, that gets uh, into into debate and dialogue with me I'm really grateful so thanks ever so much also for people that do the same on LinkedIn so thank you to everyone on LinkedIn that do a do a similar job to challenge and, and provide me with solutions as well um, that's Nick Millington I'm gonna check out here from Bleemore before it absolutely chucks down my rain um, I wish everyone well stay safe thanks ever so much bye bye